Hey there everybody, welcome back to another No Man's Sky video as always from Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault we are on the Aquarius mission today. Uh, this is going to be the second day actually we're doing this and we're looking for the first rendezvous point. So well, let's get to music and we'll get right to it. First off, we got a pretty bad ship. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Oop, went and got out of the box. Um, yeah, pretty bad ship overall. As you can see, uh, I mean, we got a little bit extension to the hyperdrive range. I think we picked that up last episode, but otherwise things are pretty rough. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we don't have any basic. No, we don't. All right, we'll take one of these and load it in there. That'll get us 100%. Let's see how far we can go on this journey. If I remember correctly, it was quite a few steps till we got to the first rendezvous point. Now, this mission introduces us to some new and interesting stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, like fishing. You know, something I never, ever expected from No Man's Sky, I'll be perfectly honest with you. But it's not an unwelcome thing. It's only one jump away. You know, it's not an unwelcome thing. So that's kind of neat. And it looks like the things that you do on this mission are 99.9% .9 all fishing related. So it looks like every time you go to a destination, uh, you got to look through your things for the uh, for the expedition, the uh, goals, and you're going to see catch this type of fish, catch three of that fish, release four fish, use this kind of bait, so on and so forth. So yeah, it looks pretty involved in showing you all the different things you can do with fishing, which is kind of neat. I like that. It's basically a big, big, big-ass tutorial on fishing in the game, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that, right? So we're going to go to the space station here. We're going to do some of the usual stuff we do on space stations before we hit up that rendezvous point. And I think that rendezvous point is going to be our first uh, experience fishing, so that should be kind of fun. Now, fishing, of course, is... A very relaxing activity that a lot of people enjoy and it's not so much about catching fish sometimes as it is just getting away getting on the water and enjoying the quiet around you you know enjoying nature that sort of thing so I can see why they put it in games there's a lot of games that have fishing uh, like World of Warcraft is one of the first ones I remember um, making a big deal out of it or making it something important to the game it was kind of cool Let's get upstairs. But yeah, more and more we see it in games. You see it in Ark Survival uh, Ascended. You fish for blueprints and other things, you know, which is kind of neat. Now, what do we got here? We will, yeah, we'll take that. And we don't have much in regards to, no, we don't have much in regards to nanites. Do we have anything to sell? Not for nanites, really. Hmm. This is so cool looking there, English Diary. And I guess this is a fishing bait. Maybe not. Maybe we'll get the bait when we land. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I don't think I have any juice with any of these organizations, but we're going to check it out anyway just to see. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, it's worth a look. So we picked up a mission to kill some creatures, and we um, got ourselves another slot on our suit, which is important because I have a feeling we're going to be catching some fish and, and taking up some slots because of that. Alright, so now we need to, of course... Get this mission back on track. Bingo. There we go. Okay, as soon as we accepted that other mission, this one went to the wayside. Alright, so it's a nice humid planet. Weather's not going to be terrible. There might be storms. I don't know. We'll have to see. Should be lots of creatures, though. We'll be able to kill some creatures if we want to to uh, get that mission fulfilled. 
But I'm real, real curious about this whole fish thing. How does that work? I'm, I'm assuming these aren't existing creatures. Because they would have had to rework every single ocean on every single planet. And granted, it's procedural and all that, the way this game is made, but... Still, that seems like it would be so much work for such a minor change. So it's probably just something you don't see in the water normally. If you're swimming around, you're not seeing these fish. But once you get the bait in the water, they're coming out. That's my guess. But we're about to find out. Secret fishing spot. Is that even a... Whoa! Okay, I don't know what happened there. We got some weird stuff going on. Okay. Is that the approximate location? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like this. Oof. What kind of planet is this? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's see what's here. It's not saying approximate location, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to guess it's by this pond. Oh my god, this has got to stop. Have you guys experienced this? What the hell is this? I'm going to land. Screw it. Maybe it won't happen when I'm in my sh when I'm out of my ship. Yeah, it's much better. Um, okay. Well, this is pretty much unplayable. Um, I'm going to reboot. Yeah, I'm going to definitely do a reboot of the game here because well, this is no good. So we'll catch up with you in a minute. Hopefully, this is fixed. Alright, we're back. Mission's up there a little bit. Let's see if that glitch is gone. I hope it's gone, man. That was weird. All my many hours and many years playing this game, I've never had that kind of thing happen. I would think that fishing spot would be by the water, but, you know, what do I know? Maybe there's like a little cabin up here away from the water. I don't know. I see a lot of creatures on this planet. Get over this crest. We'll see what's going on. Okay. A little crash spot. I was expecting to find a little house and a little bait store, get some beer. I <laughs> guess not. Here's the fishing rig. So I'm guessing this goes on to my suit. Um, press triangle, R2, hold R2 to hold in your catch. Is there no, um, hmm. Alright, let's check that out then. Let's see. This is it. No? Oh, it's probably on the multi-tool. Hold on. Yep, there it is. Okay. So, carbon nanotubes, three, and one dihydrogen jelly. Yikes, that's a lot. Okay. Can I make three nanotubes? Nope. Can I make one jelly? Nope. Oh, we're screwed all around. <laughs> and we... Alright, well, let's find some plants to kill. That's the terrain. Here's the mining beam. Let's get some oxygen while we're at it, just because... Um, ooh, that's a neat looking creature. Now the creatures are showing up.
All right, we'll get ourselves some carbon. We're gonna need a lot of carbon. And then we're gonna need some dihydrogen. Then we're gonna need to find some uh, freaking uh, they call copper. Get that mined up. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a slog here. So if you start this mission, bring all that stuff with you, right? Did I ever collect mine? I think I did. I thought I brought some of that stuff. Oh, here we go. This is good. Get my dihydrogen real quick. This should... Yeah, this gave me enough. Good. Okay, well that's done at least. everywhere. These little go on mushrooms, we get those. Alright, we need to find copper though. That's gonna be important. Um is this is copper. Oh yeah. Perfect. And it's not too too far relatively speaking. We'll gather uh other stuff along the way. Yeah be prepared, be prepared. Sodium here. Yeah. That always comes in handy. What's that beetle doing? He was just juking around, wasn't he? Crazy looking. A little, more, a little more oxygen from this guy. Hey, you took the offensive, brother. Some of us just want to be left alone. Get some of these bigger plants. They seem to probably have more carbon to them. Let's get that off the screen too. Alright, we're getting close. I would think we're pretty close to getting three nanotubes. Yeah, we're definitely got three nanotubes for sure. I'm just looking at what I'm collecting now in this little run, and there's like hundreds. Alright, good. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And we'll just fly up this wall. It's nice even if you run out of power. If you're flying up a wall, you're going to keep going. So don't worry about those steep climbs. I see you. And your friend. Where was he? Where was he? Thought there was a friend. Oh, yep, there you are. Right in my path. Oops. Okay, that hurt. Get our terrain manipulator and yeah, let's just start chewing this up here. Don't fall in the hole, buddy. Oh, you fell in the hole. Try it. Oh, there's a deep default there. I tried to warn you. But now you gotta live the rest of your life underground. It's tough. There you go. We'll give you a way out. All the way to the core. I think he disappeared. Alright, and I think we have the refiner on the backpack, which is... Oh, fantastic. Okay. It's got plenty of fuel. Good. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll do two, three. One of the... Oh, we did two of those by mistake. That's okay. We'll let that other stuff... Uh, finished gestating, so to speak. Let's go ahead and grab some right now. And now we can get this thing all rigged up. Bingo. Bango. Bongo. We got a fishing rod. Oh, 
Like, where did our ship go? There it is. That's so bad, man. Look at that. Ugh. Caught it last second. There we go. All right, well, we found our ship. And what I assume is a suitable body of water. And we got a new reward available, so we'll check that out when we get to the ship. It's kind of cool, man. We got a fishing rod. I can't wait. Can't wait to try it out. I assume we're going to create the initial bait using uh, carbon, kind of like we do the little snacks for taming creatures. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I know we didn't kill any creatures on this journey, but that's okay. There's the fishing rig. Alright, so this looks like a suitable body of water, right? And there we go. Now we wait. Oh, look, you can see fish swimming around. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Everybody be quiet. I'm going to scare the fish away. Oops. Alright. Well, I completed that milestone, at least. Um, no fish hooked. We're going to try and go as far out as we can. It's a pretty good distance there. I don't know what kind of indication we're going to get when we when we get one on the line, if it's going to make the haptic feedback happen. It's just going to be visual. And there we got it. A common shimmer tail. So there's no mini game involved. It's just a matter of waiting for that line to turn green, I guess, hitting R2 and you reel it in. Which is cool. I mean, you know, some of these mini games are a real pain in the ass, I'll be honest. A shrieking oyster, a rare fish, okay. Caught an uncommon fish. Technically it was rare, but hey, it is what it is. I'll sit here and see what's next. <clears throat> So we're on a two of five, or three of five now. A shadow fin, another common fish. So I wonder how much variety there is. Are we going to catch the same fish on different planets? There's going to be different biomes? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to find out. Let's go, let's go. I want to get at least five fish on this run here. <clears throat> and then we'll kind of check and see what's up. Almost. Come on. There we go. A rusted technology. That's interesting. Alright, we still got two more fish to catch. But yeah, we got a storm coming, so that's not good. I wonder if that impacts fishing positively or negatively, if you get different kinds of fish. I don't know, that's weird. We're about to find out. Well. We'll be able to see if you can still fish in it, at least. I mean, we're not going to have any real data yet, because we're just starting on this journey here of fishing. A pond skipper. Let's do one more. It's my heaviest fish. The storm's here, but good thing we can weather um, the heat. And yeah, you can still catch fish. Another shadow fin. I'm pretty sure we've done that one before. All right, well, let's hop onto our vessel right now and see what's going on in here. 
and we'll put these all kind of down together here. Okay, so we've gotten two shadow fins so far. Uh, one pond skipper. Do they have any value to them? A uh, thousand. Okay, two thousand. There's two. Shimmer tail thousand. So it looks like common fish are worth a thousand. Rare ten thousand. That's nice. And what was this? This is the technology thing. Um, so permanently damaged. You can install it anyway. Interesting. So right now I can use that because it is an upgrade. I don't have um, anything better, so that's kind of funky. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, do that, and do this, and we'll give ourselves a little extra on our tanks. That's funny. All right, so cool. That won't be useful late in the game, but you know, early game, if you're out fishing, that's kind of cool. You might be able to get something from all that. <clears throat> We're going to try and catch a couple more fish out here in the rain and see what's going on, or the, the storm. And then when the storm ends, we will uh, check in and see what prizes we've got so far. I don't know yet. That's a tough fish. Ooh. Refill. Common. Okay. Now I notice one of the things you want to do with this mission is sell a half a million dollars worth of fish. That's a lot of fish. Especially with the rare ones being 10,000. I don't know if there's anything, any steps above that. Is there, you know, super rare, legendary, unique, whatever. I wonder if there's monsters. That'd be kind of cool if there's like monsters, deep ocean creatures. That one gave a fight, a green scale bloater, another interesting and unique fish. And that's my new heaviest one. 8.89 kilograms. Alright. Well, we'll keep moving on here. Get us just a couple more. Another pond skipper, nothing new there, and we'll go right over here. And so the fishing rod is 100% still. I don't know what wears that down. Come on. A wandering kelp fin. Night fishing. Caught three nocturnal fish. You know what? Let's look through this real quick here. All right, so phase one, new reward. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. We'll collect this one. We'll collect this one, Toe in the Water. Uh, waiting in. Oh, we can cook fish now, that's going to be interesting. And the one that got away. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take the upgrade, that's for sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put a couple down here if I can. Since that's where I'm sticking my fish. Uh, I guess we'll do here. And we'll do here. How many of these do I have? Alright, well that's awesome. <clears throat> Five inventory slots. Alright, plus we got phase two rewards. Oh, we never got this one. Prepackage advanced mining laser. That's awesome. Dangling orb. I don't know what that is. Alright, we gotta take stock here and see all the good stuff that we have. So this... Prepackage advanced mining. Yeah, let's put that in for sure. That's gonna come in handy. 
Um, this is a movement module. We'll take it and put it in. Gave us what? Oh yeah, quite a bit of good stuff there. We've got underwater protection. We'll go ahead and I guess slap that there. Aqua jets. Oh yeah, for our ship. Perfect. We'll take that. Put it there. Now we can land on water, which is awesome. Get anything else like that? No. This is dangling orbs. <laughs> okay. That's a type of bait. Alright, let's get our other fish down here that we got. I want to kind of oop, kind of see them. I'm going to move you up here. Take you down here and here and here. So a lot of common fish today, right? Got our shadow fins, our reef eels, our pond skippers, shimmer tails. Green scale bloater, that's the new one. Oh, that one is worth 3,000. This one's worth 2,000. So there is some variety to the actual individual fish. Which is good to know. Okay. And they stack in piles of 50, which is cool. Um, can we build. Yep, there it is, the nutrient processor, right? Two metal platings and one hermetic seal. Let's see if we got what it takes. No, we need condensed carbon. All right, that shouldn't be too hard to find. I see some already. See, so yeah, we'll go grab that. We'll build this nutrient processor and see what that's about. Because I bet you we can cook these fish. I don't know if cooking them counts as selling them. I honestly don't know, but we'll find out. All right, let's go ahead and mining beam. Perfect. Oh, right, that should be enough now, right? Yeah. All right. I kind of want to tame one of those. The water looks like it disappears. It's kind of like a, I don't know, visual thing. At least we got rid of that weird glitch though that was starting off. That was kind of annoying, I'll tell you that. Not a fan of that whatsoever. The water doesn't look so good until we get like, now it looks better. I know that's one of the things they were touting with this update was the new look of the water. And it did look great. And it still looks great. It's just, for some reason, it's being a little wonky this time around here. Alright, so what was I doing? I was making a... Um, totally lost my mind here. What was I making? Oh, the, the processor. Duh. Let's put you down. Here, we'll cook right here in this little cove. Nice spot. All right. So if we put just a basic, let's put a cheap one in. Uh, one of these guys, a pond skipper. Makes white bait. If I split it and put it in twice, it makes a sorted row. Fascinating. If I add a third fish, salty platter. If I take one out and put a different type of fish in, let's put a more expensive one. Salty platter, same thing. Well, let's cook that. Can it be consumed as it stands or subjected to further processing. I wonder if that counts. Let's add some of this to it. Nope. If we add salt to it. Nope. Alright, well that's fascinating. Let's try something else out. Let's try out our... I don't know what these delicate legs are. 
Let's check out this guy. Marine steak. So he's kind of like a tuna or something like that. If we salt it, nothing. That's fascinating. I figured uh, if you salted it, it would be something special. Assorted row. Okay, it's and a refill salty platter. Which overall the value is still higher. Oh, prepared a dish of fish. It's still higher than um, they were individually, right? Uh, let's see. Let's put this guy back here. And we've used up all our fish mostly. So 105,000 right there. I wonder if we sell that, if that counts. All right, let's take a look here. New reward. Oh, catch it a day. All right. Phase one is done. Go ahead and pick that up. And we'll go ahead and install these. We'll probably be able to replace this already. Oh, nope, that just goes toward the other thing. My bad. Let's get all this put together. Yeah, we haven't been very well organized here, but that's okay. We're just kind of screwing around. Learning this as we go. And our reward, God Fishing Poster, Sea Chart Poster Plants, Bounty of the Sea Poster Plants. All right. Well, phase one is done. Absolutely digging it. Uh, we have a phase four reward. We'll go ahead and collect that in night fishing. Barnacle plans and kelp sack. Uh, barnacle. Oh, a decoration. Okay. I think we already have that. I see something down here I want to grab, though, while we're here. I have a feeling these are going to come in handy, and I can see them right here. I can get six of them real quick. Yeah. You missed me. Alright, we'll head over to this one. Oh yeah. Got all three uh, for that one. Perfect. Alright, so a little crystal sulfite. That is probably going to come in handy later on. I'm telling you that right now. Seeing as we're doing so much stuff underwater, I have that feeling, right? Look at these guys. Creepy looking. All right, well, I think that's going to be it today, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Thanks for joining me for another adventure here on No Man's Sky as we do the Aquarius Expedition here, learning how to fish. If you haven't done so, please leave a like on the video down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. In the next episode, we are going to probably head over to the next fishing spot and see what we can find there. I'll catch you then. Until then, peace.